There is a new Goosebumps TV show in the works right now, and I am so excited. It's coming to Disney Plus sometime in the near future, but not much is known about it. I enjoy speculation and sharing ideas, so these are the top 10 Goosebumps monsters I want to see in the new TV show. Number 10, Slappy. Slappy the Dummy is basically the face of Goosebumps. Especially after the two movies were released, the evil and this dummy has become the most popular character in all of Goosebumps. He's creepy and funny and a monster I definitely want to see in the new Goosebumps series. You have the right to remain silent. The reason I'm playing Slappy so low is that it's almost a guarantee he'll be in the new show. Again, he's the most popular character, so it'd be insane not to have him. Also, there's been a lot of Slappy in Goosebumps media recently. He was the main villain in both the movies, and now there's a whole series of books named after him. Don't get me wrong, I love Slappy, but since he's more than likely going to be in the new show, and the fact that we've seen him a ton, I'm only putting him at number 10. Number 9, The Snowman. Maybe it's because of that scary looking Jack Frost movie from the 90s, but I think snowmen can be pretty creepy. That's one of the reasons I was drawn to the Goosebumps book, Beware the Snowman. The titular snowman came to life when two sorcerers cast a spell on him. While he does appear as just a normal snowman, underneath the snow, he's actually a scaly red monster with yellow eyes, a purple tongue, jagged teeth, and a bull-shaped head. Since he is more of a winter monster, I think you add a unique dynamic to the new show. He can provide a different challenge from all the other monsters, and a different way of defeating them. The Snowman has only really appeared in the one book, so there's plenty of room to develop him further. Overall, I think the Snowman would be a pretty chill addition to the new Goosebumps show. Number 8, Monster Blood. It's not as iconic as Slappy the Dummy, but Monster Blood is still a classic Goosebumps monster. The green slime was featured in the third Goosebumps book, and it's appeared in a handful of stories throughout the years. Basically, the stuff grows and grows, and if someone eats it, they become a giant. While Monster Blood isn't that scary, I think it provides a lot of interesting ideas. What if one of the main characters in the new show has to eat the monster blood to fight a giant monster like the Praying Mantis? Alternatively, what if a villain uses the monster blood to destroy a town or something? There's plenty of ideas that can be done with monster blood. We also didn't see it in either of the two Goosebumps movies, so I'd love to have monster blood make a comeback in the new TV series. Number 7, Robbie the Weirdo. This is a newer Goosebumps monster, appearing in Slappy World number 4, Please Don't Feed the Weirdo. As the title suggests, you do not want to feed Robbie. He looks like a normal boy, but once he eats food, he starts spitting orange vomit and transforms into a green furry monster. What really makes Robbie an interesting villain is that he can transform into anyone. The only way to figure out if it's Robbie is by, unfortunately, giving him food. The shape-shifting makes Robbie an interesting villain, but he's not your typical monster. He's mischievous and... Okay, is a bad person if you know how the story ends, but at the same time, he's a kid, at least when he's in his human form. Robbie's a monster of some depth, and I would love to see him included in the new Goosebumps series. Number 6, Dr. Maniac. Dr. Maniac first appeared in the Goosebumps Horrorland book, Robbie Short's First Dr. Maniac. He's a comic book character who escapes into the real world. As his name suggests, he's an evil scientist. Dr. Maniac is a bit obscure, which is exactly why I want him in the new Goosebumps series. I think he's an alright character, but he has one of the best catchphrases ever. You're crazy! I cried. Dr. Maniac shook his head. I'm not crazy. I'm a maniac! It's not even that clever. It's just how Dr. Maniac says it that I love. I want more people to know about this catchphrase and, most importantly, to be saying that. Number 5, The Menace. The Menace is the big overarching villain of the Horrorland series. He created a place called Panic Park to test out his super scary rides. The rides were too scary, and because of that, the park ended up getting transported to another dimension. Makes sense to me. The Menace's goal in the Horrorland series is to bring Panic Park back to reality. What really makes this guy an interesting villain is that he has two faces. They usually have different opinions and tend to argue with each other. As you can see, I'm not timid. I will do anything. I have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Stop bragging. They get the idea. The second face snapped. I'm not bragging. The first face insisted. I'm telling them what they need to know. He has a twisted sense of humor, and he'll even punish his own henchmen. The Menace isn't your typical Goosebumps monster, so it might be difficult to incorporate him into the new show. 
However, if there is a way, I would love to see the mess brought to life. Number four, Murder the Clown. Murder is a pretty new character, first appearing in 2015's Nightmare on Clown Street. He's actually not the villain of the story. Instead, Murder's the main character's uncle, and he gets trapped in a place called Clown Street. However, in the first Goosebumps movie and some of the video games, Murder is a straight up bad guy. It's probably because he's a clown, but Murder is one of the scariest looking Goosebumps monsters. I would love to see him in the new Goosebumps TV series, especially to have them more fleshed out. Besides his debut in Nightmare on Clown Street, we don't know much about Murder. It'd be cool to have his story more developed, and the new Goosebumps TV show is a great place to do it. I would kill to have this character in the new show. Number 3, Mr. Wood. While Slappy is the main guy, we've seen many other ventriloquist dummy characters in the Goosebumps franchise. Out of all of them, I'd like to see Mr. Wood appear in the new Goosebumps TV show. Technically, Mr. Wood came before Slappy. Both he and Slappy made their first appearances in the seventh Goosebumps book, Night of the Living Dummy. However, Mr. Wood is the antagonist in the story, while Slappy barely does anything. Despite that, Mr. Wood has rarely been used since his original appearance. It would be awesome to finally have this character make a real comeback in the new Goosebumps show. I feel like so much can be done. Maybe Mr. Wood and Slappy work together for a while, but then one of them betrays the other. I don't know. What I do know is that Mr. Wood should definitely appear in the new Goosebumps series. Number 2, The Haunted Mask. Right up there with Slappy, the Haunted Mask is an iconic part of the Goosebumps franchise. It's an evil mask that, when worn, alters someone's personality and is nearly impossible to take off. The Haunted Mask sadly hasn't been used a lot in recent years. The last time it was featured in a Goosebumps book was in 2012. The Haunted Mask did technically appear in the Goosebumps movie, but was mainly just used in the background. While that was disappointing, I get why the filmmakers couldn't use the mask more prominently. However, I think the Disney Plus show is a perfect opportunity to bring back the Haunted Mask. I think there's a lot of potential too. Maybe a villain like Slappy wants the Haunted Mask because of its power. Maybe the mask cleans itself to one of the main characters, and that character becomes an antagonist until the mask can be removed. There are a lot of opportunities, so I hope the Haunted Mask is included in the new show. And the number one monster I want to see in the new Goosebumps TV show is... Horrorland. Okay, this is kind of cheating, I know. Horrorland isn't a monster, it's a place. But it is run by horrors, and those guys are monsters, right? Yes, sir. Horrorland is just such a cool and massive location that you could almost have the entire show take place there. However, we've never really seen this amusement park brought to life. Yes, there was the TV show episode, and while it was good, I feel like there's so much more that can be done. With Disney behind this new show as well, I think they could create a really awesome version of Horrorland, one that we have never seen. Talking about the horrors, it'd be cool to see these guys and gals brought to life again. There's a decent number of characters who are horrors, and it'd be sweet to see what they would be like. Maybe Horrorland could be the hideout for the villains in the show, and the main characters have to sneak in to defeat them. Just a thought. No matter what they do, I would really love to see Horrorland and all the monsters that inhabit it brought to life in Disney Plus's Goosebumps show. While we wait for that, check out my list of the top 10 scariest Goosebumps episodes from the original TV show.